What's up guys, Lenny Reed, Dynamite Diesel Products. We're kind of excited to release to you that we actually have a patent and the good folks that uh, I believe it was called Lee and Hayes helped us in getting this. These guys are lawyers that do this for a living on the daily. So if you read the patent, there's a lot of words and a lot of technical jargon. It's pretty boring, so we're gonna get rid of this and just explain to you the nuts and bolts and why we did it and how it helps you. So before I drop it, before I lose it, before I make a big mess, that's out of the way. Now, why did we do this? How did the, the idea come to fruition? Well, basically, I really enjoy older mechanical trucks. And when you compare driving an old mechanical truck to driving a new truck with common rail and variable timing, old trucks just don't hold a candle. They, uh, they're noisy, they're smoky, they're a bit lethargic. You can still make pretty good power out of them, but you suffer with smoke control and throttle response and common rails just eat it. They, you've got variable timing. You can retard timing, advanced timing, based on mass airflow, uh, throttle position, all sorts of things. So with an older truck, you've got primary holes that are designed to spit just the right amount of fuel in to make just the amount of power that you're trying to achieve. Increase power, you get a bigger hole. Decrease power, smaller hole. Get rid of fuel, get rid of uh, the, the smoke and all the misery up top. Uh, you get rid, you clean up the bottom end. Add fuel, you increase the misery down below, but have more fun upstairs in the upper RPM curve. So my thought was, when I met the fellow from AAEDM, his name was George, and when I met George, I said, George, I really want to be able to use a very, very, very small hole. Uh, I want to create small holes, so I want to hold a very small piece of wire. Can we do three thousandths wire? No. I said, George, we really need to. Your sales guy said that we should be able to do three thousandths wire. George said, I'm very sorry, sales guy full of shit. He's your sales guy. Well, he's not anymore, he got rid of him. At any rate, we were able to use a wire clear down to two thousandths, seven tenths. And even though my hair is getting very, very thin, that is actually smaller than any single strand of my hair. So what's that mean for you? Well, basically, by decreasing hole diameter, you increase pressure. Hole location in the nozzle tip itself will give you an advance or retard of timing. So if we put the holes at the very, very tip with green screen, te green screen technology, we're gonna show you that right now. When you've got the holes at the very tip, as the needle valve is lifting very, very shallow at idle pressures, you're going to hit those holes very, very hard, and you're going to make those pilot holes very, very efficient. As soon as you start to stand on the gas pedal, the needle will start to travel further distances more rapidly, and sooner or later, the path of least resistance law comes into effect. The pilots get overcome, and all of your drivability is happening off of the big primary holes. That's why we did it. I wanted to make an old mechanical truck drive like a new truck. Surprises and byproducts were start ability on cold mornings much, much better. The atomized fuel is helping contribute that start ability really sharp and make it very, very nice to drive. It's also beneficial in common rail stuff because not all common rails need this, but some have a tendency to soot up the diesel particulate filters quite a bit. And by putting pilot holes in there, that drivability and that stability down low with just pilots is enabling that diesel particulate filter to stay cleaner longer, creating less regeneration events and giving you more life out of all of your emissions gear. So that's why we did it. That's kind of how we got started on it. Um, why didn't OEMs do this stuff 25 years ago? Well, because Back in the old days, when OEMs were manufacturing the first diesel-powered pickup trucks, uh, the technology was pretty poor, pretty low. Uh, to deburr inside of a nozzle after they would EDM it, some of them would actually blow glass shards in there to deburr that area. But there was no such thing as extrude hone or AFM being used back then, so they didn't have any K-factor into the orifices. So it was just a real rough, real raw hole and they had to actually make the spray orifices pretty big in order to get them to flow anything. Later on, we jumped in with extrude hone. 
we started touching those up and we increased K-factor, we increased the efficiency of the hole a lot. And we were able to pick up 75 to 150 horsepower by just extrude honing without actually adding any smoke. We started adding smoke by getting a lot bigger with that because we removed the length over diameter of the spray orifice. So later on comes in AFM, abrasive flow machining. AFM is really good about creating a very extreme K factor without modifying any of the length over diameter of the hole. So it's a new technique, it's a new technology, it's a little bit faster and a little bit more accurate. Doesn't plug up the spray orifices, but it still wasn't pilot hole technology. Now with pilot hole technology, we're able to place the uh, spray orifices, the pilots, exactly where we want them. We test them, we AFM them, so you're getting all of the new technology and all the new techniques into your older vehicles. Now, I mentioned length over diameter, so the length of the spray orifices versus the diameter of the spray orifice. I also want to mention to you that pressure and atomization kind of go hand in hand. The more you can pressurize a chamber or a spray orifice, the better it's going to atomize. K-factor helps you atomize by increasing the pressure in the spray orifice. Now, with mechanically injected trucks or even common rails, you're going to sit at the lowest throttle position and the lowest line pressure at idle. So the atomization is going to chronically be the absolute worst there. How can we fix that? If we decrease the hole diameter, you're increasing the atomization by increasing the pressure. As I've mentioned, if you put those to the very tip, that's going to be where you get fuel to chamber the earliest. So the pilots are always going to be very, very close to the piston in relationship to the primary holes. And once path of least resistance kicks in, the primaries are going to take over all of the flow and hardly nothing at all is gonna go out those little tiny pilots because they are so restrictive. By decreasing size, we increase pressure. We also enhance the atomization. So with all of that said, those are the things and the reasons why we came to you with this patent. And uh, I hope this was short enough that you were all able to stay in it and understand it. But if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 208-209-3214, or just shoot us an email, salesdynamitediesel.com. Lenny Reed, Dynamite Diesel Products, I'm out.